I'm going to take your code for you. Also, um, see you later, peasants. You ain't looking at me through my windows in my Bentley Mulsanne. There you go. It's just vile. I can't, I honestly, I, I don't I'm find it funny young, anymore. So, we're getting picked up in a minute. Uh, you'll see. New edition. New edition. Should be here any second. Hello. Lord Leighton, it's Otto. The car's outside. Excellent work, sir. She'll be out in a moment. No worries, sir. Our lift has arrived. <laughs> right, let's go. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How are we doing? Very well, very well. Thank Make you. Make yourself comfortable. You'll find a, a nice refreshment in the fridge in the back there. Oh, excellent. Wait, wait, sir. I'm going to take your code for you. Would you like to go to the usual for luncheon, sir? Uh, yes, please, yeah. No yeah. worries. So, as you can see, We've got a new car, We've got a new uh, new member. This is Otto. Otto's uh, our driver. Uh, oh, Otto. Yes. Did you uh, did you get the champagne on? Uh, on Certainly, ice? sir. It's on. It's been on chill all afternoon. Have a look at this. Yeah, fancy fridge. Bit of uh, Dom Perignon, 1979. Fantastic year, I might add. Uh, also, this is my favourite beverage. This is a Don Perignon SUV collaboration. Uh, it's a 1979 vintage. Fantastic year. In can form. <laughs> as rare as they come. Um, Sorry, as rare as they come. So, we are currently in a 2015 Bentley Mulsanne. Um, and this one's had a ridiculous amount of money spent in options. Um, so we're going to go grab some lunch in this, chauffeur driven, um, and we'll tell you about it because it's good. And we've also got another car, weekend car. So, right, the theme today is if I was loaded, what cars would I have from work that we currently have? And how would I use them? So the first one I'm going to choose is this, because it's cool. It's properly gangster, as you've seen from the outside as well. Satin, gunmetal, mint colour, um, interior's class. Let me tell you about the options. Let's go through this. This is insane amount of money on this car. It's around about 100 grand in options. It's difficult to tell exactly, because some options uh, are part of packages and stuff. So, yeah. I'll talk you through them though. Um, so the exterior paint colour option, that is £21,335 for the paint. Nearly £22,000. It's a price of a golf, isn't it? So the wheels, one of the more reasonable ones, they're £1,250. Um, the little flying bee mascot on top of the radiator, that is uh, £2,500. Uh, so the champagne cooler, um, it's supposed to come with glasses, but the previous owners have nicked the glasses, I assume, or they've broken them. Very, yeah. very good possibility that may have been broken. Um, but that is eight and a half thousand pounds. Uh, you've got, what else have we got? Picnic tables, 9,915 quid. They literally open up and you get some iPads in it. 10 grand. Don't understand that. 
price, but there you go. Uh, ventilated seats with massage function, £2,675. Wi-Fi hotspot, £845. Uh, deep pile carpet, mats, just mats, £1,085. Six disc CD changer, 830 quid. Never. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? The hand hand stitching, cross stitching into the seats like that quilting. Uh, that is £3,445. The Bentley badge on the front wings, that's £1,325. Carbon fibre waist trail inlays, so these bits, uh, that is £2,100. Ambient lighting, £345. It's not bad. These mirrors, bear in mind, um, I have to be honest, they're pretty cheap in terms of how they're made. They ain't that nice. Certainly not for £1,300. Madness. Uh, what else we got? Entertainment specification, £21,500. So you've got rear entertainment, name audio, TV, um, it's about it, uh, 21 grand. Um, speed premier specification, 10 grand. Uh, what else we got? Rear camera, £1,000. Oh, sorry, £1,400. Side view camera is £1,000. Uh, tracker system, £1,600. Name audio by itself, by the way, is 6K. It is, Mental it spec. Is good, but um, interior grand. is uh, anthracite hide with like a bronzy orange stitching. It's mega. Um, perforated leather roof lining. It's really nice. Um, the piano black, by the way, is free of charge. The veneer in there, Owen. Oh, the piano black. Mm, That's free. nice. I'm going to chuck that in. It's free. Yeah, you'd have to pay for that, it's which is thing. nice. Soft closed doors, keyless push button starts, that nav, Bluetooth TV, all that. Obviously, as standard. Um, mega. Such a cool car. And double glazed windows, so it's absolutely silent in here. Also. Um, See you later, peasants. You ain't looking at me through my windows in my Bentley Mulsanne. Look at that. Get rid of the peasants, which is pretty cool. Um, Otto is uh, is an option. Mm -hmm. Otto's an option. Very expensive option. 20 quid you can have him. Uh, yeah, it's just mega, this car. It's really cool. And, oh, and James Bond phone. Otto, show him the James Bond phone. Look at that. Yeah. Private handset. Private. Don't use it while you're driving. No one can listen to you. Illegal. It's just good, isn't it? We need to find some bloody parking. We need to do lots of B-roll of this uh, specification to get all that in there. But yeah, the car would have been, I don't know, a quarter of a million quid, something like that, which is nuts. And now you can have it for less than £80,000 which I think is unbelievable value for money, by the way. It's ridiculously good value for money. Yeah. You can get the whole car for less than what all the options are. Yeah, literally. Um, it's done 48,000 miles. Smidge under, but yeah. Smidge under. Um, which is not a lot. 2015, don't know if I said that. But it's lovely. It's really, really, really nice, this car. I am a fan. Right, rich people, in order to get rich, you need to do lots of work. Mm -hmm. So I've got my laptop. Um, we've got Wi-Fi built into the car, but we haven't got a working, uh, a working SIM card inserted with data. So, so I can't do any can't work do for today. But because I'm rich, it doesn't matter, I can take a day off. From a chauffeur's point of view, it's nice to drive. I've got massage seats and ventilated seats. It's massive. Does it feel big? Um, not really. It feels wide. It doesn't feel long. But you can see right to the end of the bonnet. So you don't feel as, as big as you would expect. I'm not going to lie, right? It is good to be in the back of. Like, my leg room's mad, but I've only got a child in front of me, so... It, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a car to be driven in than to drive, isn't it? I'm loving life. Imagine this with a family. Regan would love this. Yeah, very good. He's into luxury. This would be right up his street. He can get his iPad in there. I 
can't see why you wouldn't like it, to be honest. And I'd want him to have his iPad in here for 10 grand for that picnic table. <laughs> yeah, it's never coming out. But let me tell you, if he, if, he t if he came to the door without his iPad, grounded for a week, every time. Every single time. Rich people play golf. They do. Should we play golf again? I'd probably say no. <laughs> After what Kill another time. man on it. Out of the way, peasant. Move. I could get used to this. I like wafting. So could I, I could get used to this. I like wafting around in cars. It's better than Do you want to come fast. pick me up tomorrow morning in this? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Spot on. Wow, it's heavy. Well, nearly three ton. Yeah. Is it? I'm not surprised. Yeah, literally. 2.7. 2. With us in it, 2.8. Yeah. And if you had a full tank of fuel. Wow, it's heavy, yeah. Like, <clears> it's ba basically three tonnes. Mm. But it's a lot car. To be it fair, the leather in wheel. here alone's probably a tonne's worth. Yeah, there's a tonne of cow and... Oh. Yeah, it's not car for vegans, this. No. There's a lot of leather. We're essentially in a carcass. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. You know? A satin gunmetal grey carcass. So, um, take us somewhere scenic. Otto. Okay. Yes, sir. Nice little scenic spot somewhere. We'll show you around it. But as far as being driven in it, awesome. Comfort levels. I'm having a massage. I'm reclined in the back seats. My laptop, comfortably right here. Oh, what's that? You know that thing where you've got to have your laptop at a certain height and distance away from you to not get not RSI arthritis or something? Or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's comfortable anyway. It's good. I could do work. Some would argue I don't do a lot of work. <laughs> I would argue I do a lot. If it was up to Steve, I'd be working right now. Yeah, which I kind true. of am. We are working. But I could do two. I've already advertised this car though, so. No sunroof either. Would you get a sunroof in these? Nah. Do you know what I'd do? What? I'd do a starlight roof. Mmm, good shout. That's what I'd do. Um, yeah, it's very, very, very nice. Drives Mega 2 to be driven in. It's got a nice indicator noise as well. Good clacker. Mm. What's it like on fuel? Uh, well, currently this journey we've done 12 to the gallon. <laughs> Everything's ruined. Look. Oh, it does still. You're right. Yeah. See you later. We're going to get lashed. Right. So now. We've got champagne for it. Right, part of the problem with this car that whoever buys it is going to have, that I think happens a lot, the champagne flutes that are supposed to come with this doesn't have this bit at the bottom. It just has the stalky bit, which like slot into, there's cup holders in the back and in the front. They've just got holes in the bottom and you just slot it in. Um, but nine times out of ten, they either get smashed or broken um, or they just, you don't get them. So you're gonna have to buy some new ones. But that's about it. Um, but you also get yeah, yeah, Prosecco in there as well. Awkward angle. But you've got a champagne fridge in the in the uh in your car, who cares? That's good. Like that. Nine thousand pounds though. It's a scary amount of money. Nine grand, you get that you get that as standard in like a Range Rover autobiography. But it's not that cool though. It doesn't have a, a frosted glass slidey McSnapperton. Um sorry my things are there. Um just very, very cool. I still don't get the look at this. Look at this, right? Move that. See this contraption here? That opens out. All pass me your camera, I'll show you. That thing. See that? That's what an iPad, your little lightning socket. Um that, that's 10,000 pound, 10 grand, 10,000 pounds for that. Which I find it kind of annoying. You've got to press the button and then wait. I'd rather just be able to like pull it out. It'd be a lot easier. And that, 1,300 quid, pass me this. Get one that side, it's easier. Look at that. 
it's not even like good quality really <laughs> it's like so that 1300 quid for that it's another thing that's a bit mad um but you don't pay for any of it now it's already been bought and the car's less than 80k which is mental um down here obviously got all the adjustment in the world for my seats including massage heat functions um i can make it cold as well so hot days like today you can have air conditioning down there very nice and then obviously um you've got your own climate control stuff in the back as well it is cool though right let's have a look around the exterior i'm gonna crack open a can of dom perignon uh, 1979 fantastic vintage all right well, give him a beep i can't get out well i can but i'm not gonna <laughs> this is this is what you get a show for. For you're the worst show forever. I wanted to get out. Oh, sorry, sir. Out. I'm not going to get out without the door being open for me. Too right. Prosecco for you. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do. There you go. Yeah. Glass for you. Thank you. What video are you doing? Oh, it's for YouTube. Followers, SUV Prestige. Uh -huh. um, we sell fancy cars and we do videos. Just bring the glasses back, you can have that. Oh. So there you go, there is a little look at a Mulzan. We're going to pick up the... Uh, the weekend car. The weekend car. So we're going to show you what we're going to do on weekends now. This is obviously business. During the week, Monday to Friday, business meetings, laptops giving out champagne. If you ever pull up on one of our uh, video shoots, come see us, you might get a free bottle of champagne or something. Mm -hmm. Like, comment, subscribe, we might send you one in the post. <laughs> Take us for the weekend car. We shall be back. So, oh, sorry. Can't get the staff, I'm, can I'm you? not used to this chauffeuring in the wacky. All right, let's go. Oh, my drink's over there, <laughs> The absolute liberties. Thank you, sir. No, yes, sir. Thank you. Off we go. We're off to go swap to the weekend car. We'll come back for the glasses. If we're not back, just leave them on there. Thanks, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Is it nice? Is it cold enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pleasure. Good, good review for the Mulzans fridge. There you go. Mulzans fridge. Keeps it cold. Glasses, chili, prosecco, going down a tree. Everyone loves a Mulzan. I hope you has one glass. He's driving. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was until prosecco was offered. <laughs> she says you can drive. Did she? Yeah, legend. Well, my Dom Perignon uh, SUV Prestige Vintage is going down a. Uh, in fact, should we? Do we put? I'm not going to say the name again because we might get spot. In fact, Don Perignon, if you're watching this, holler at your boy. We'll uh, we'll promote your product in our videos. <laughs> <laughs> right, Owen. When you drop me off at my week, uh, sorry, Otto. Yes. When you drop me off at my weekend car, I want you to go pick my wife up. Okay. Yes. No problem. Now then, love, we're going shopping. I need a new dress for tomorrow night. Come on, chop, chop. So, we're in the weekend car now. So, my wife, Cheryl. Hello. It's not my wife, Cheryl, it's Owen. Yeah, it's me again. Um, <laughs> my wife, thankfully, is a lot better looking. Um, I don't even tell that as a fence. So, we're in the weekend car. Two Bentleys. We've got the Mulzan for during the week for work. Mm -hmm. The workhorse. Now we're in the weekend car. This is the fancy one. Um, Bentley GTW12. Lovely bit of kit. This is nice. It's in flame orange, which I love this colour. On Bentley GTs, we always have them. 
and they're always in black, always in grey, always in silver. You get a bit bored of them, don't you? Yeah. To have it in this colour is really nice. And it's uh, just very, very, very nice, this car. I do like it a lot. It's a massive step up over the old one. Don't have to shout what you like wives do. Right, so, 2018 done 800, uh, sorry, 8,260 miles, 627 brake horsepower W12. Um, it's mega. It's just really nice. I like the colour interior. This is linen and uh, imperial blue hide interior it's with this leather, really nice stitching. It's really lovely. I like it a lot. Embroidered headrests and that um, performance. It's fast. Very quick. It's fast. So through the week, Mulzan, you're doing business, to and from meetings, business deals, all that kind of stuff. Weekend, what do we want to do? What do we want to do, Cheryl? We want to go shopping in style. Tell you what we're going to do. Oh, fancy restaurants. We're going to nip off to the south of France. Oh, the south of France, yeah. To the chalet in the Alps. Name a better car to do it. There isn't many. There's not, to be fair. And I've always said that about the Continental. It is probably the best all round, in my eyes, Grand Tara. It's definitely up there with the best of them. That is for absolute sure. Super comfortable, like ridiculously comfortable. Um, great to look at. Yeah, great to look at. Free crap on fuel though, this, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. This is bad on fuel. Like, yeah, it's not good, is it, at all? No. But it's very, very, very nice. This one's quite a lot more money. This one's um, south of £140,000. Yes. Um, so it's quite a lot of money, but this thing has got some mega, mega details. Um, we'll show you round it. We've done it backwards this week, haven't we? We we'll normally go round it. And then drive it. And then drive. Mm. We're driving it and then Changing going around it. Um, I just wanted to get you, him, away from those children because he was definitely, was definitely scaring, scaring them. them. 100% um, scary. She wants to leave tonight. No, definitely not. No. I don't think I'm gonna. It's one of those horrifying things I've no, ever seen. No, she got facial hair and hairy legs. Yeah, it's yeah. scary. I can't even look at you if I'm honest. Um, but with this, um, I've got to be honest, I am one of the very few people at work that doesn't really like Bentleys. My mm. missus likes Bentley, it's not that one, my actual missus. She loves Bentleys. When I go home in a Bentley, she's very happy about it. They're one of the few cars she really likes. Everyone at work loves Bentleys. I absolutely love Bentleys. He loves Bentleys. Love Our owner, Steve, bloody love, sorry Steve, loves Bentleys, like really loves them. It's like one of his things. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I never really got the Bentley thing. I hated how, personally I think the old ones were built like shit. I mean, <laughs> keep it but in yeah. there, just beep it. But they were, they were built like shit. The battery always went flat. And what, do you know what happens when a Bentley goes flat? The alarm goes off incessantly. It does not stop, okay? The windows drop down. You can't put them up. You can't open the car. It just, it's a nightmare. Mm. And, the, and you can't stop the alarm going off. Um, Sorted out with this one, though. They're horrendous. Like, I just hated them. The infotainment system. That was crap. Invented by freaking Tutan Car Moon. Mm. That's how old that was. Um, they didn't. Like, everyone said, oh, they drive them. They don't drive that good. They're very smooth mm. and in and a I, straight and I think line. That's what good. people like about them. Yeah, and it's, if, you, if you're sat on a motorway, fine. But yeah. to actually drive, I personally, I didn't think they were. I didn't. I never, I've never liked them. And I think they're boring to look at. I think they look old. Then they brought the new one out. And because I'm not interested in Bentleys at all, because of previous experience with them, I don't really care, don't really like them. Um, now I've done this. I really like this. I like the new style of them. They look modern, still look exactly like a Bentley. Um, it's really, really lovely. Yeah, speaking of looks. <laughs> Please explain the situation, Harry. Tell them it's your wife. Have you finished it? Some of it. Most of it. You, you don't have to give it back straight away. We've still got Ask no questions. Go, um, like Thank you. Does he look nice? 
Yeah, we, we saw it on the Instagram story. <laughs> Instantly called it. They, they just put them on in. Yes. I, I, I get bullied now. Do something with them. Pleasure. Glad you enjoyed it. See you later. Keep your eye out for the video. We will. I want you to watch, like, comment, subscribe on all of it. Cheers. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Look at that. The flutes fit in the cup holders. Well, that's good. Look at some of these details. B-roll. We'll yeah, B-roll we'll it. B-roll it. Editing. I forget. Um, it's got like, I don't know, it's kind of like fish scale in a way, but silver. It's really nice and it's like on all the knobs. Knobs. It's on the knobs. Scaly Shiny knob. knobs. Shiny knobs. They've but, just nailed it, haven't they? Yeah, they've done a mega job on this, I must admit. I do like it. And it's very pretty, this one. Should we look at it? Yeah. Let's have a look at it. Shall have a little look at this. Should we have a little look at this? <laughs> Let's have a little look at this then. I need to get out of the car with some form of dignity. Film him getting out. Get out quickly before I let him out. Let's have a little look at this. Oh, <clears throat> oh my God, there is a sight for sore eyes. It's hard work being a woman, mate. Jesus Christ. I never want to see this again. <laughs> I, I wanna, thought this was going to be funny. I never want to do this again. I thought this would be funny. But now I'm scary. just kind of horrified. Have you sat me down look at this? We're going to look really weird right now. I've just clocked what this is going to look like. What? This is something Prince Andrew gets up to, this. <laughs> this is dodgy this looking. This is very dodgy. <laughs> he stood there with the camera. That's what I was saying. <laughs> uh, whatever I am, and you, in a posh car and a camera. It's like fake taxi. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know where I thought this through. I don't know why you thought this idea. I just thought it'd be funny. So did I, but now it's not. It's not funny. <sighs> why you stood like that? <laughs> I can't deal, man. I like Chris Eubank. Chris, Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank. It's very soft. Talk like but it's a, lots of look, uh, look, look at this em this. emphasis it's, it's on this. Emphasis. So this is a 2018 Bentley Continental GT. It is the six litre W12 variant and it's finished in a fabulous colour, just like me. Mm -hmm. uh, this is flame orange. Um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to have a quick walk around of it uh, and we'll go through the more finer details. So. so up front we've got the Matrix LEDs with the daytime running lights as well. But if you can get closer, we'll get some B-roll of this. Um, there's got loads of detail in the headlights, which is nice. Right, so moving down to the side of the vehicle, can we just appreciate how good it looks on this angle? I mean, we're a bit out of proportion, the old shape, but this one's a lot more sleeker and more coupe-like, which I, I like it quite a lot. So this particular car's got the 22-inch alloy wheels, which is finished in gloss black and diamond cut. It ties in quite well with a nice chrome effect. So normally I don't like chrome on cars, but I think on a Bentley you've sort of got to... It's a bit more classy, isn't it? So you've got your, your belt line in chrome along down here. A nod to it being the W12 model, you've got some nice little 12 badges down here. Just so it's quite a subtle hint to it, but everyone knows that you've got the, uh, the 12 cylinder variant. Moving to the back of the vehicle, got a, an adjustable spoiler. So this has got different um, heights, I suppose. You've got tilts that you can use. So if it's in sport like this, it's got the most aggressive, or you can have it in eco and whatnot. Um, makes the, the back end look a lot nicer. In the old ones, that used to be like there, and it just popped up, it looked a bit naff, but they've, they've really sorted it out on this one. Back end of the vehicle, again, you've got the nice crystal, cut crystal effect on the lights there. Um, they're really nice lights. Big twin exit exhaust pipes, tying it in with the chrome. It's nice. Got an electric boot. Plenty of space in there for golf clubs or some suitcases for the south of France, whatever you want to put in there. So that's good as well. A little bit of black, uh, gloss black styling on the back there to make it more aggressive but not too aggressive. Right, so as me and Harry have already previously mentioned, the interior on this is a massive step forward compared to the old one, and I must agree on the old ones were, they were a bit naff. Um, moving into, uh, into this one, it's a really nice specification, this. So we've got an imperial blue leather, and uh, it's like an ivory colour as well. So that's on the top of the dash, that's proper leather on there, all the way around. Your door cards, you've got like this nice stitching. It's like diamond stitching. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, apparently, so I like it. Um, again, carried along 
on the seats as well, embroidered headrests with the Bentley crest, which is a nice touch as well. We've also got like a walnutty dash on here. Um, it's probably real wood, I should hope so for the price. Um, but that looks nice as well. Normally I'm not a fan of wood dashboards, um, but it ties in quite well with this imperial blue uh, interior as well. A massive step forward is the uh, infotainment system. You've got a huge screen here. You can also get an option on these where it like flips round, so you can have just normal dials on there, like your fuel gauge, like an old Bentley. That's pretty cool. This one doesn't have it though, because it's quite an expensive option. Um, but on here, you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, satellite navigation. You've also got um, a very good reversing camera on this one with front and rear parking sensors. They've really gone to town as well on a lot of the switch gear. It's a lot more premium than it used to be. It's not. It's a lot of the Bentleys used to have a lot of Volkswagen switch gear, which, apart from maybe the buttons on the steering wheel, there's there's nothing that I can see of really. So you've got like a nice diamondy effect on these a big uh, start button straight in the middle there um, with your different drive modes. So you've got you can customize it, sport, comfort, Bentley mode, and all sorts. We've also got a big improvement on these new Bentleys is the uh, virtual cockpit. So you can have um, different dials on there, your sat-nav. Uh, it's very similar to Audi's system. It's probably the same, but made it look a little bit more fancy with it being a Bentley. Um, but that's nice as well. Um, and this one's also got adaptive cruise control. Um, you've also got a perforated leather headlining as well, which just feels amazing to touch. Not that you touch your headlining very often, but if you want to touch your headlining, you can do. Um, the space in the back isn't brilliant, let's be honest, but you can get a couple of people in there. Uh, so this particular model also has the blind spot assist, so just on the wing mirror there, don't know if you can see it, but just on the wing mirror it flashes if you someone's in your blind spot. Oh, that does sound very, very good. Oh, that yeah. does sound <clears throat> pretty bloody good. Right, so that has been the most horrifying experience of my life. You and me both, mate. You're not dressed like a woman. This wig's do my head in. It's horrendous. So, um, yeah, we've two Bentleys. If you're going to have a two-car garage and you only can have Bentleys, I think these two are a great shout. That's mega. Um, Colour, spec, 100, over £100,000 of the spec. It's ridiculous in options. Um, there's not, not well. There's not much more you'd want out of a car, really, is there? No. And Six point seven liters or whatever it is. Gets a shift on when it needs to. Yeah, you're horrendous. Um, Honestly, you want to say this earlier. And then this has made me fall in love with Bentleys for the first time ever. So I do like this. I think it's very, very, very beautiful car. I like the color. Um, good spec um, these two at this stage are both available on our website as always www.suvprestige.co.uk um, follow us on instagram like comment like comment subscribe mm -hmm. as always slap that bell mm -hmm. get the bell slapped um, comment on the bottom which car you'd rather have which is it's more your style debate, that, isn't it? Yeah, because that, I keep thinking that's like the sensible, like, mm. businessman, boring type. But it in, you could be like a, a Russian mafia. Yeah, it's very mafia-esque, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you might be, a, if you're a member of the mafia in Russia or Italy or Albania, any of you mafia lot, would you have that? Or would you have this? Do you like a more sporty GT car or do you want the... Stereotypical mafia car. Yeah, like Tommy guns out the window and that. That we could have done that as well. Actually, we could have like. I don't know. And if you're really rich and you do both of these things and you've got peasant blinds in your car, like I want to know what you guys do. So let me know that. Yeah. Could have gone to Monaco in that. Could have done. Don't think Steve would have been uh, up for that though. No. Budget would have had to go up, wouldn't it? Massively. Yeah. And I'd want a better dress. Yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Um, let us know if you like him looking like that mm -hmm. in the comments. I don't, if it's any uh, consolation. I don't either. I hope. It, I thought it was going to be really funny. I came up with this idea thinking it would be hilarious, but it's not. It's, it's not, just it's, horrifying. It's, it's horrifying. We're not going to do this again. Next no. week is going to be something 
He's going to be in fancy dress next week again, not me. I'll think of summer. I hope. So, yeah, thanks for watching once again. Um, if you want to buy these cars, you can. They're for sale. They're available now. They might not be when you watch the video, but if they are, you can uh, buy them. Either or is brilliant, to be fair. Be I like good. this. I'd have that one. I kind of don't want to sell it. I want Steve to give it to me. Mm -hmm. Don't think it's going to happen. No. Can we go home now? Because this thong's killing me. <laughs> right, bye. Thanks. <sighs> Can't even look at you. Um, <laughs> it's more and more horrifying as like time goes on. Come here, darling. Flute's got stuck. There's no worse than getting your flute stuck, mate. My flute's sweaty at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> we better win some bloody awards this year for the dedication I'm putting into this social media. <laughs> right, just have a little look at this. I can, mate, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what's not ladylike about this? Everything. It's just vile. I can't, I honestly, I, I don't Tom find Perry it funny Young, anymore. Beautiful. Are you filming my ass? <laughs> if you want to subscribe to my OnlyFans, the link's below. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, 600 and... Cut. Oh, is that my <laughs> What's that? What's happening? Oh, it's connected to my Bluetooth. <laughs> what are you listening to? Throughout the week, I am Otto. And on weekends only, I am Cheryl. Cheryl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> Owen, so, obviously, he's just pulled up looking like this. A full-on family <laughs> just pulled in. To collect like, a car. <laughs> kids probably six or seven. <laughs> with a baby, husband and wife, and they are look the little girl is staring at like, what is that in Not the back impressed. of the car? Oh my god. I think that I make a sexy funny. woman. <sighs> if you squint hard enough, I just look like Cheryl Cole. Turn the engine on. No, just turn it on. Thanks. <laughs> there we go. So, that's how you look after people. I want you both to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. Yeah, no, we'll do. We'll do. Legends. Enjoy. Legends. SUV, SUV Prestige. Prestige. Who does your own... This is, this is me, Who does your own it's <laughs> a snotty tissue. Where's my glove? I think it's funny with Michael Jackson glove. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Loud mouth Harry over here. Right, come on. You're gonna present this like that. Am I? F no, you are. Don't swear. <laughs> we're on YouTube. There's kids watching. Oh, I forgot they were. I hope there wasn't kids watching. Oh my God. <laughs> Ah! Uh -huh.